All right, so today we're gonna to look at some food tests and how you test them. Now, this is stuff you would have also done in year eight, maybe in year seven, okay? But these are on the GCSE specification and we need to be aware of the test for four different food types. The first one we're gonna look at is the iodine test. Who can tell me what uh, iodine tests for? Yeah. Uh, Starch. Good. It tests for starch, and starch is a complex carbohydrate. Can you tell me what we mean by complex carbohydrate, rather than a simple carbohydrate? Yep. Uh, it isn't sweet, no, because starch, like pasta, doesn't taste particularly sweet. What, what, in what form is the sugar in in the complex carbohydrate? Slow release, and why is it slow release? Because it's very, yeah, because it's in long, in long chains, because it's in long chains. So it's long chains that are called complex, complex carbohydrates. Whereas if you have a Mars bar, Mars bar is just full of simple carbohydrates, simple sugars that don't have to be digested. So, just to show you the difference between that, we've got our uh, well uh, plate here, and I'm gonna just project that up for you to see. Okay, onto the projector. And I'm going to take some glucose. And the glucose shouldn't do anything. So I'm just going to put the glucose in here. Okay, and I'm going to take the glucose and I'm going to try and add some iodine. Iodine is brown. What colour do you think it would turn if it encounters starch? Uh, black. Shay, we expect it to turn black. And will it turn black when I add it to glucose? And the answer is, of course, oh. no, it will stay brown color, that's a negative test. So it doesn't test for simple carbohydrates. So let's take our bit of potato, which is something that contains starch. Okay, can anyone name two other things that contain starch? Pasta and bread. Okay, anything that's basically a cereal grain. Take the iodine, test that, and what colour has that turned? Black. black. So it's turned black to show it's a positive test. What it's testing for then is just testing for these large molecules. The dye only basically changes colour when it encounters these large molecules, not the small ones. So that's our starch test. Okay. Why do uh, things like potatoes and pasta have complex carbohydrates? Where do they come from? What's made them? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they come from the ground. No, what, what, what process goes on in plants that make sugar, start off with, yeah? Photosynthesis, and why does that lead to the production of starch? Um, it's because they then the glucose get to build themselves up. So what, why turn it to starch? What's the purpose of turning it into starch? To store it. To store it, well done. Because when does a plant not photosynthesize? At night. At night, or less in the winter, but... At, when things don't have leaves. So trees with no leaves would be using starch. Okay, so that's our starch test. Our next test is a test for protein and we're gonna use a reactant called, you know this one? Oh, I'm just... No, okay. The next one is a test for protein. It's gonna use something called biuret reagent. Again, just for comparison, I'm gonna compare it with glucose. Here's glucose solution. So this should be our negative test. And if I add this reagent here, which is biuret, which is this lovely light, per light blue, okay? If I add it to this, it stays that light blue color. It doesn't change. But if I take something that contains a lot of protein, like egg white, egg whites contain a lot of protein. And then take this reagent and add this. Give it a little while, and it starts developing a slightly different tint to it. Starts developing this lovely kind of lavender purple color, and that's that positive test then for protein. So that's the protein test. So we've done protein, we've done starch. Our next test is going to be a test for fat. And to test for fat, we are gonna take a test tube, and in that test tube, I'm gonna put a little bit of water, and I'm going to put a little bit of ethanol. So, alcohol. 
And so this is a mixture of two, and then I'm gonna take some fat. In this case, I'm just gonna use vegetable oil. I'm gonna pour the vegetable oil in here. And then I'm gonna give it a shake just with my finger over. You can use a, a, a bung, but it's not very harmful, so I'm just gonna put my finger over this. Give it a shake. And it becomes a milky color, okay? So it's gone this milky colour. It's done like that because all of the bits, all of the basically the lipids are being held in what we call a suspension, like milk. Milk is a suspension of fats in, uh, yeah, in in your in in water. This is also what your washing up looks like. If you do some washing up, you've got basically water and you put washing up liquid in there, and then you put a greasy fry up plate in there. Almost straight away, the washing up water will go like this because the washing up liquid is holding the fat in suspension. There is another type of fat test, which we're not looking at, 